Hello guys, my name is Carlton and I'm here to take you through on how to calculate area and save it or export it to a CSV file or whatever file you, you may require from QGIS. So what you need to do first uh, is to, to create a new shape file. Uh, the shape file name, I'm going to name this one area. Then the geometry type, I'm going to select polygon. Then I'll select uh, this map, the base map that I'm using is in uh, UTM zone 35. So I'm going to use that one, select that one. A field name, so the field we want to create will be called area. Then you, the area and it is in hectares. So I'll select a decimal, doubles. Then for precision, I'll, I'll say two. Then I'll add. So you can add as many fields as you want. In this case, I will even add a field which is called name. This one should be a text string. Then I will add. As you can see, these are the three fields that we have. The ID, the area, and the name. Then you press OK. As you can see, we now have uh, a shape file which is called in the area. So you right click on it, go to Togo Editing. Then you then go here where it says add poly feature then you select you select the area the the points that you want in this case i want these points then i will right click then it will ask you the id name i'll just say one then the name i'll just say a then okay then i can do this for another area here maybe this area remember this is for learning purposes I'll just be doing random shapes here. Then I'll name it B. Another area again is this one. Maybe this one up to here and here. Then press A enter. That will be our area, third area. Then name it C. Okay. So from there we have these two shapes. From there you can either press save. Or you can save here so that you won't lose the data when you do something which is funny so from there i will right click go to open attributes for the for the table area then from there i'll select this one which is say select all then you left click it as you can see if everything is now selected but the area in it is there is nothing on area so you go to open field calculator then from there it will show you something like this so the when you want to calculate area you go to geometry it will show you some type of geometry you can click around and uh, read what it says so when you are having a dollar sign in the area you it, it reads the function is this one here and it will show you the syntax syntax that you can use so I'll go here where it's written expression. Sorry, before doing that, either you create a new field or you update an existing one. In this case, I want to update an existing one, which is the uh, one we named area in hectares. So the expression for it to calculate area, it's shift, uh, shift then you press the dollar sign if you're using a letter like mine, then you write a uh, type area as you can see it will show you the area here but the area for the coordinate system that i'm using it will calculate the area in square meters so i have to divide it by ten thousand for it to be in hectares then i press after doing this i can then press ok so as you can see all the areas that we are having now is in hectares then you can press save after doing so and close so now whenever you want to check here you can go to attributes table as you can see what whichever shape that i select the one with red here it will show me the area in hectares as you can see if you want you can say after saving if you want you can export this onto a spreadsheet you go to export again save as uh comma separated then you can say i can write it as area one the coordinate system is correct the geometry just to be on automatic then you say 
okay then from there if you go to you have to navigate and find your one you were using in the file that you were the working directory that you're using so in this case is this one written area then i can double click on it as you can see it says read only because it's already open so i will say read only then as you can see this is the area in it has and the name of the uh, shape file i hope you enjoyed watching the video make sure to like and subscribe thank you guys